My favorite walleye fishing is definitely jigging in the springtime. Jigging in the springtime can be super productive. Any size boat will work. And some days are just hot action. Well, what's their call? They're calling for 20 plus. Then you know it ain't worth going out. Yeah. Sweet spot right here, boys. Fifty bucks out the door. Mine ain't gonna keep, so that was an unproductive. Fourteen and a half. Yes, sir. I just gotta get this. I gotta get this. You got it, Terry. You need help. I got it. That's cheap. I got my stinger hook stuck in him I thought you said you had. and broke it. Watch Johnny help Terry, he ain't got that. What's up? Going there, there's a drift in, inside there. Right on the border of short. Huh? It's on the border of short. Another great tactic for catching Great Lakes walleye is pulling crankbaits. Whether you're fishing bandits or husky jerks or Berkeley flicker minnows and flicker shads, any way you look at it, crankbaits can be a quick way to find fish and a good way to catch a bunch of fish. You don't have to have a big boat to troll crankbaits. A 14 or a 16 foot boat can work just fine, particularly if it's a tiller steer. Because a tiller steer offers you a bunch of floor space. It allows two guys to move around pretty well to deploy lines and net fish. Fish, bud. First wally 
other day. What people? Trolling crankbaits can be particularly effective in the fall. When the walleye come back up into the shallows to feed for the winter, they're pretty aggressive and with the dropping water temps, you control crankbaits at right around two miles an hour and those aggressive fish are pretty eager to hit your baits and you typically have a chance at some of the biggest fish of the season in the fall. Hey friends, during the summer months, I'm talking from the end of spring right through the middle of fall, the warmer water temperatures, my absolute favorite way to catch walleye in the St. Clair River, the Detroit River, Lake St. Clair or Lake Erie is bottom bouncers and crawler harnesses. You simply cannot go wrong pulling 
big fat juicy crawlers on a crawler harness behind a bottom bouncer. This presentation catches me more walleye in the summer than anything else. And just like jigging, just like pulling crankbaits behind inline planer boards, you do not need a big boat. You do not need a big boat to pull bottom bouncers and crawler harnesses in the Detroit River. So hey friends, if you live near the Great Lakes and you've got a 14 foot or a 16 foot deep V, don't let the size of your boat keep you from chasing walleye. These tactics, jigging in the springtime, crawler harnesses in the summer, crankbaits in the summer and fall, these tactics will catch you fish. Hey, with Thanksgiving right around the corner, I urge you guys to consider giving your life to Jesus Christ this year. I've never met a born-again Christian that regretted their decision to follow Christ. Hey friends, last but not least, I hope you'll click that like button. I hope you'll subscribe if you haven't already. Hey, at the end of this video, I'm going to leave a link to my uh, uh, walleye video, catching walleye on crawl harnesses. I'm also going to leave a link to the trailer maintenance video, which is our 500 subscriber giveaway video. Click on the link to the trailer maintenance video. Leave a comment in the comment box below. Make sure you're a subscriber for your chance to win a lock and lube grease coupler. You'll see in that video, I swear by this uh, coupler. This thing's a time saver. It's a headache saver. And you've got a chance to win this $30 coupler. Compliments of lock and lube couplers. Hey, thanks for watching another video tight lines. God bless. We'll see you guys on the water.